In this video, I'm going to be showing you how godlike General Shao can actually get in this game. All of these matches are going to be in ranked online, and we are facing some sweaty, sweaty lineups. If you like what you're seeing, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow in more ways than one. Okay, so in this match, we're going to be cutting a lot out because this was just a beatdown for the most part in the set. I believe this was the third match, the final match, and it was 2-0 already at this point because he just, he didn't know how to like approach me. He would go long range just like that and then the spear, but I have Motaro so I can get in no problem. That is one of the reasons I love Motaro with Shao Kahn. You can't tell me that shit's not sick. I, I don't go anybody. That's the best time in the game. But he starts off with the kick. I was trying to anti-air that. And we catch him. I think he mispressed his cameo button. He meant to probably go for the double uh, throw. The little knife she throws. Um, and then we catch him with the standing two and then go into a grab right after. That standing two never fails as a Shao Kahn player. He wants to stay distant, but we're going to use the three tail shots to get back in. Even though he catches me, we catch him right back. He's going to break that. That's a smart break. We up block his jumping kick. And we get a full combo off of that. Man, once I figure out how to do this up block, this is going to be a scary little thing. We catch him with the down one, but we couldn't get anything off of it. And we finished the match with just a regular combo. That was what we call a waffle stomp. But this next match is probably the hardest set I have ever played against anybody. So he's a Baraka player. I wanted to show you the little set score. It was 2-1 right now. He had two games on me and I had one. The games weren't that interesting. They were just like poking chip damage. So I didn't want to show them. But... Uh, we're down 2-0, we have to win two in a row or we're done. And he starts me off with this, like... Forty nine percent nearly 50 percent damage But keep in mind he chipped me out for like a good 9, 10, 12 percent damage. That was like a 60 percent damage in reality. Now we do get the fatal blow here. Remember, if you're using Motaro, you can simply press the cameo button. You gotta spam that shit and Motaro will attack for you. That that combo would not have worked if I didn't do that. Shao's fatal blow animation is horrible. But since I had Motaro, I was able to get it done. Man, it is hard playing a Baraka when you're using Motaro. Every time I would try to set it up, he'll literally come in on you in like 0.5 seconds. Like, Baraka is in on you really, really fast. Like, right there, I call him up, and then he just uses his range, and Motaro gets out. I should have definitely switched cameos um, to Serena, Sonya, Sub-Zero, or even uh, Goro for, like, damage, and uh, Goro just for the, the safety. But I wasn't comfortable with anybody at this time, and this guy was just way too good. Look at how much damage he's doing, by the way. I think he's probably gotten, like, real hits on me. It'll be, like, five or six. Most of this stuff has been from chip damage. Like, look at that chip damage right there. And then he gets a grab off, and then he turns it into a combo, and I break it. That's a horrible break, by the way. Don't ever break that. I was only breaking it to see if I could get a clip for you guys. But that was a horrible break. Um, he's gonna continue doing his chip damage stuff. Again, the tail shot doesn't work. And, but I catch him off there. That is unsafe. I had no bar though, so I couldn't get much more damage. I should have probably went for the other combo, uh, to throw down my axe. But we go for the simple grab, put him closer to the corner. And then somehow I end up on the other side, even though I feel like I should have been on the right side. But it is what it is. Um, then we go right back to the blender. I'm gonna armor out of there.
I was just hoping that would just give me some momentum for the next match because I was kind of scared. Now in the next match, I was trying to play it a little more safer, but he would just use that against me. Like with Cyrax, like it is just so hard. Look at this. It's a grab and he's going to get like a 23% off of this. 22, 22, 23% off of that. Um, and then that does annoy me. So I try to just mash buttons and it somehow works out for me. Um, not the highest damage ever, but I I'll take it. Uh, we go with the standing two into a grab again. That's like my signature at this point. I did see a lot of comments talking about how I can get more damage if I don't have the axe. I completely understand that, but I don't like having my axe on the ground in some matchups. Like with Baraka, the amount of range he has, I could use the range back. But if I'm playing somebody like Liu Kang or Kung Lao, I definitely want my axe on the ground as much as possible. Right here, I actually go for the wrong input. I meant to do a 2-2 two -two there, um, but it's okay. We go for the standing 2 and into a grab, and then he does get baited out, and then we just end it with a fatal blow. And man, I'm telling you, Baraka is one of the scariest characters to face against. Even if he doesn't get hits on you, he will make you pay like 25% in chip damage just by being there. And Cyrax does not help. Like... Baraka is a good character and Cyrax just puts him over the top. In the next match, we're going to be facing a Kung Lao. And if there's one other character besides Baraka and Kenshi that I cannot stand, it's Kung Lao, man. I feel like everything he does, he's just safe. And, uh, you know, this is the match I want to have my axe out. That's why I'm just throwing it out there. And uh, I'm just trying to, like, get some chip damage and trying to get an opening on something. Um, but his defense was actually really good. I'll give it to him. And uh, he's just going to be really annoying with that 50-50. That kick goes into an overhead and a low. So it's, it's a little tricky to block and guess. And we're plus on that and he doesn't know that. That little back two is slow, but when it works, you're allowed to do whatever you want pretty much. And we're going to use the tail shots, try to put some more pressure in and finish it out with a standing two. We're going to jump over the little hat and get a full combo punish. And I dropped it. I don't know if that was the player 2 advantage, but I've been dropping that combo like insanely amount. And I don't know if I'm just in my head or the axe was just too far whenever I do that combo. But every time I'm player 2, it seems like I cannot like finish that off. I thought that patch was supposed to be fixed by yesterday, but I guess it's still not out yet. And we get a nice little 29 percent and we're gonna go back into our little staggers and uh, when you're in the corner you can actually finish that entire string you can go two two into the kick and then you can go into your little uh grab into the axe and then we're gonna get the match out with one two and you know we're just doing some random stuff right there in the second match he was a lot more prepared and he was ready for my little staggers and i think he wanted to go full screen but motaro just will not let just zone me out he will always just keep throwing those tails and i'm allowed to move that entire time we throw the axe down and we're gonna go for again that should have hit i promise you that should have hit i don't know why that didn't hit it felt like my fist was up his ass and it still didn't hit we're in a really weird position i want to get out of the corner before the next round so i'm gonna just try to jump over him and i knew he was gonna go for the grab so i was teching uh with the the back throw We're going to spawn Motaro in the minute that match starts and we're going to try to get in. I knew he was going to throw that hat, but we still have the advantage to get back in. And we get a nice little 36%. Kung Lao's wake up is actually fully safe on block. So I just went for it anyways because I wouldn't be able to punish it and he would have gotten space. And Sub-Zero doesn't give him the full combo launchers like uh, Sonya, Scorpion and other characters do.
Did you see how far I hit him from? General Shao has no range, by the way. That's what everybody says. But uh, whatever. Um, we're going to get zoned out, and we didn't have any bars. So we just started jumping over him, and we made it in. And now Motaro is ready to go, and we have the axe on the ground. So we're just putting some pressure on. And this is the exact same combo that I dropped because the axe went into my hand. The last second I pressed B, that axe went into my hand. I should have probably seen it coming. But we wake up, and we get the punish. And we're going to go for the axe drop again. And uh, now we're plus on practically everything. And uh, we're going to go for the full combos. And we get the win. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Comment down below what other characters you want to see. And if you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps me grow in more ways than one.